So you're thinking about moving to Denver, Colorado, but you're not exactly sure its overall vibe or what it has to offer. Well, today in this video, we're gonna actually take you around uh, one neighborhood in particular. Uh, we're here in the Highlands, just west of downtown. Uh, show you a handful of properties and three different price points so you can see you know, what might fit in your budget. So with that, we'll get after it right now. My name's Adam. The team and I, we get calls, texts, emails every day from people just like you thinking about moving to the Mile High City and the surrounding areas. As I mentioned, we're in the Highlands neighborhood right now. Just behind me, you can see, uh, hopefully is uh, downtown Denver. This street actually dead ends to a pedestrian bridge where it drops you right off, right next to REI. They got Ball Arena right there. Coors Field's just up the way. There's all kinds of things going on. As you can see, I'm trying to navigate my way through here. One of my favorite restaurants, Linger. Linger is right up here. We've got Little Man Ice Cream. And all kinds of shops and restaurants uh, right here in this part of the neighborhood. It's right up against I-25. Uh, so it's pretty densely populated. Uh, they've had a ton of uh, development over the years. Uh, building actually lots of apartments, but there are still condos and townhomes right here in this little corner. I mean, the neighborhood goes up. Uh, Tihon right here, all the way up to 38th, and jumps over Federal as well going west. That's where you'll find more single family homes. Um, but this is kind of like city living, you know, downtown living, so to speak, even though you're not exactly in downtown. Um, it's the highlands because we're up on this hill it's back in the day much higher than everything else uh, right here is a good spot the post I mean, chicken and beer right there you can get that uh, this is uh what is it mizu that's right mizu above there is some uh, apartments so you kind of get an idea of what's going on here I mean everything's really in walking distance we're just walking towards towards downtown Denver right now uh, but you got all kinds of uh, shops I mean radio clothing right here here's a spa salon um, so people in this neighborhood you know don't really have to get in their car there's all kinds of lift scooters and such to get around the neighborhood itself is kind of hip and vibrant lots of uh, I'll call them chic cocktail bars and restaurants to go to so what i'm going to do is head on over a couple blocks to the first property um, it's a little town home in an old building but they remodeled it pretty well uh, like i said a lot of these buildings now are are apartments but there are some uh, properties for sale and we'll head west after that a little bit uh, to check out a single family home as well. So stick with me. We'll jump in it like we always do. Check out those properties and uh, have a good time. All right, so I've walked the one block it took me to get here. Uh, to the first property it is listed at 449 uh, here's the front door right here uh, kind of a row home town home sort of thing uh, one bed one bath it's kind of small at 500 square feet um, but that's kind of what you're going to get at least on this side of the highlands like i mentioned it's densely populated they packed them in here uh, people love the location so they're not necessarily uh, needing a huge house to live in because you got so many activities and things to do outside of the home. Uh, I mean, if you can see downtown Denver there, actually at the end of the street here is I-25. You might see a couple tops of the trucks and such, so easy access to the highway. That pedestrian bridge is uh, one block over, so you can cross that, get into downtown, go to a basketball game or baseball game, 
uh, hit up the 16th Street Mall, whatever you want to do. And at the top of this street is a park. We got people playing basketball. Kids in the swings I saw. Um, right there was Little Man. So again, uh, the location is, is what you're paying for because at 449 and 500 square feet, I mean our foot, square foot price point is like $889 a foot, uh, which is really high. I mean, if you've seen any other videos, you try to keep it at 300, but that's always area specific, especially as you get closer to the city, it's gonna get more expensive. Just like if you got closer to the mountains, it's gonna get more expensive. So just wanted to at least show you this one since it is under $450,000 in a great location uh, everything you, you'd want to do here in Denver I mean I'll flip around you can see Olinger which is now Linger Linger gosh I keep saying Linger uh, that's a great restaurant up top they've got a rooftop bar fantastic views of the city that way a little man ice cream post chicken and beer and you know again it's, it's just in walking distance so you park your car and get everywhere you want to be so what I'll do though this time, I mean the next house is only a couple blocks away too since we're focusing on the Highlands neighborhood, uh, but I'll still jump in the truck, drive around a little bit so you can see the area. Um, but kind of what I've been explaining is, is what it is. Lots of bars, lots of people, hip spot, uh, somewhere to come to and hang out on a Friday, Saturday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So. With that, I'll wrap up. We'll uh, jump in the truck and we'll hit the next property. All right, so we've made it over here to our second property. It's inside the Espandine building. Uh, condos, townhomes in there. This particular one is two bed, one bath. Uh, 928 square feet listed at $650,000 so that puts our price per square foot at about $700 a square foot and really we're only a couple blocks away from that first property so in terms of price per square foot it's a lot less it's a little bigger two beds this time across the street from Zunai Street Brewing uh, I've done some trivia there before. It's a really cool spot inside. Maybe I'll jump in uh, after we wrap this one up just so you can see what it looks like. Um, but that's a really cool building. Pretty much brand new. Uh, all the finishes inside are great. Again, move in ready. Especially if you're going to be paying that amount of money. You don't want to have to do any work. And I get it. As I mentioned, still in Highlands. A couple blocks up from that last uh, property we looked at. And... At $700 a square foot, we're talking about $200 less per foot uh, with a slight jump in price, right? $650,000. Again, paying for the location, walkability, accessibility, all those things. I mean, this is 29th Avenue right here. The entire street has bike paths and it actually goes all the way to Sloan's Lake. So uh, a lot of people, as I mentioned before, love their outdoor activities. So they'll jump on their bike ride west it's a nice slight incline all the way up there because we're in the highlands on the hill um, but the good part is is when you come home it's all about downhill so again that last property uh, two bed one bath 928 square feet uh, really nice finishes ready for you to move in so we'll go ahead wrap up walk back up to zunai maybe i'll get a shot of that inside um, a little too early to get myself a adult beverage but maybe later after we finish up the entire tour of the highlands so with that i'll wrap up here and we'll take you around the neighborhood a little bit i mean i've just walked down maybe a couple blocks you can see i mean kind of eclectic there's dentistry there medical aesthetics uh not prosthetics but whatever that is denver sport recovery so again outdoor activities uh, you can come back here and get your PT on, um, get stretched out, and get ready for the next day. So, uh, a little different here in this neighborhood. Obviously, not a lot of single-family homes. I did find one 
we'll go a little bit more west for that one for the next house tour and um, hopefully you like it I mean Highlands is great literally downtown's there Spear Boulevard again Pepsi Center sorry it's now Ball Arena uh, where our Nuggets play we've got uh, the Avalanche that play there too so Elish's REI uh, the Platte River also has bike trails up uh, along the Platte River as well so lots of fun stuff to do outside and um, it's all without getting in your car you know you walk out your front door and find something to do so I'm making my way back up to Zunai Street we'll uh, jump inside the brewery just so I can get some shots let you see it um, I mean the Spendine building is here on right across the street Zunai Brewing Company so that's one fun thing to do right side your doorstep without having to get in the car all right I'll wrap up here and then we'll take you to the next spot okay guys we're here at our third house uh, it's a three bed three bath listed at 875 and with just over 2100 square feet you can tell with some traffic uh, we're on 38th Avenue right here not ideal uh, but there weren't a lot of single-family homes in the Highlands neighborhood for sale right now so at this price point this is what you get and that's unfortunate although the house is the house is fantastic inside I mean they've really done a great job again this is 38th we were just on 29th and Zunai uh, where the Zunai brewery was so Denver's on a grid system which means we're nine blocks north of 29th so it kind of gives you an idea in terms of location uh, how far we are from where we started today's tour so as I mentioned the farther west you move you're gonna find these single-family homes I mean we just turned the corner right here on this is Alcott uh, and it's already quieter uh, this is more of like your traditional neighborhood you know with single-family homes and such I said Denver's on a grid system so the numbers go north and south. It's actually alphabetical going east and west. And A, then we'll have Bryant, Bannock, Clay, ABC, you know, going that way. Um, but I mean, this is five minutes away from where we just were. So if you're looking for a single family home that's close to activities, uh, nightlife, outdoor kind of uh, eateries, so to speak, I mean, Highlands is a great place. You're just gonna pay for it, right? Uh, especially if you don't want to be on a, a main street. 875 goes a long way in, in the surrounding areas. It's just the closer you get downtown, the more you're gonna spend. So, doesn't mean we can't find you a place in the neighborhood. It just means we need to have a conversation and set up priorities. You know, what's more important to you? Is it the nightlife, the lifestyle in general, and the experience, being able to walk outside your front door, not have to jump in a car and drive on the highway to get somewhere, um, like a downtown. If you're a sports goer, I mean, we're still close enough to, to hit all the major sports here in Denver. Uh, we've got all four of the majors, right? Hockey, basketball, football, baseball. And luckily, they're all within like a two mile radius of each other. Um, so living in a, in a neighborhood like this um, might be for you. It just depends. Do you want a bigger house? Do you want a smaller house? How much do you want to spend? And that's something that uh, the team and I take great pride in learning uh, about, you know, your needs and wants. And then um, figuring out the best property that's going to satisfy those needs now it's kind of crazy we've been getting a lot of rain this year there's a cool little old house victorian 
uh, in this neighborhood. So Highlands might be up your alley or it might not be. Uh, let's just have a conversation. Find our contact information in the descriptions below and give us a call, shoot us an email, or send a text. Like I've, I've said before, we love helping people move, whether it's in nine days or 90 days. Now the great thing about the Highlands is you get that eclectic mix, that old Victorian, or you might find something like this modern uh, duplex or townhome. Oh, here, here comes the rain, I think. I heard some thunder. So I think what I'll do is uh, wrap up, drive around this neighborhood so you can see uh, what the other properties look like just outside of kind of the heart of Highlands. All right, that wraps it up with our tour of the Highlands, uh, just in time. Quintessential little rain storm coming in uh, in the afternoon. Typically happens in the summertime uh, here in Colorado. I mean, it's a little, little cloud. There's some blue sky. There's some blue sky behind me, so it won't be too bad. Uh, found a parking spot back over by Zuni. I'm gonna meet my wife over there, have a little adult beverage. Um, and then kick it off for the weekend. So hopefully you enjoyed Highlands. Obviously it's a little uh, different than kind of a suburb. You know, we're right up against downtown Denver. So, um, you know, if a single family home is what you're looking for, I'm just gonna park it right here under this tree. Uh, it's starting to rain a little more. Single family home is what you're looking for. Then maybe Highlands isn't the spot unless you've got the budget for it, right? Uh, that last house we saw, in the 800s, so uh, it's definitely doable. Uh, it just depends on budget, right, and comfortability. There are plenty of neighborhoods like the Highlands that don't cost as much. So keep tuning into the channel, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell for notifications so you can get updates every week when we keep going through all the neighborhoods in and around Denver and the surrounding areas. So with that, the rain's really coming down now. I'm gonna boogie on out so I don't melt because I'm made of sugar <laughs> not really um, but yeah till next time hopefully we'll see you around town